from Mashable, I'm Lauren Goris. History remembers Atari's Pong fondly. The pixelated play hinted at a future of games people could only dream of. But at New York's Figment Festival last weekend, people weren't dreaming of the next Halo. They had Pong on the brain. Literally. Thanks to a group called Hack Manhattan, the public was playing Pong with their minds in a 6 by 8 foot board. How? Participants wore these NeuroSky Mindwave headsets. A member of Hack Manhattan explains. These headsets that we have actually take your brain waves, they read them through electroencephalography, and you can translate them into readouts on this small shield that we have. So they took that small device and blew it up for the installation. The New York Times visited the festival and says the game looks how you might expect, but controlling brain pong is a bit different. Players, therefore, cannot control the directional movement of the paddle by thinking up or down. Instead, it's a matter of concentrating as hard as possible for as long as possible to make the paddle move toward the ball. Or basically, a brain pong is an exercise in concentration and patience, which is fitting because creating a jumbotron version of brain pong was also a challenge. Still, it's not the first brain-controlled video game. In April, two Cornell students posted this video of their final class project, EEG Pong, or Brain Controlled Pong. But the Hack Manhattan team's version wasn't for a grade. They put up the funds for the project. So they're trying to raise $2,500 on Kickstarter to offset the material costs of Brain Pong. With six days left, they have about $1,000 to go to hit their mark. For Mashable, I'm Lauren Gorris.